Hey, this is Jeff, and today I'm going to show you how to prevent Steam from downloading updates. If you use Steam to play online multiplayer games, this isn't going to work for you, but otherwise you might find it useful. This is quite a departure from my usual walkthroughs and tutorials on game mods, so why am I doing it? Well, Steam recently forced an update on me that broke Fallout New Vegas. This is actually the second time it happened, and Steam tech support was utterly useless. Yes, my drivers are up to date. Yes, I resynced. Keep reading the script until the customer gives up. Well, first time, I ended up having to uninstall and reinstall Steam itself, then reinstall New Vegas. This time, even that didn't work. A philosophical person might say, What Steam giveth, Steam can taketh away. I'm more pragmatic. Those bastards bricked a $60 game, and I have absolutely no recourse. There's nothing I can do about that, but I can make sure it never happens again. And by the way, Bethesda, what the hell? Why would you require an online gaming service to use a locally installed single-player RPG with absolutely no online features? Uh, but I digress. There are at least three possible things you can do to prevent this from happening to you. First, there are patches for most games that let you run them without Steam even being installed, but I can't recommend that because it probably violates the game's license agreement, and it probably violates the DMCA, which made it illegal to reverse engineer software for the purpose of circumventing copy protection. The DMCA, if you're unfamiliar with it, is a repugnant piece of corporate welfare passed by the thieves who laughably call themselves our representatives here in the U.S. Now, I'm a musician. I've published four CDs. If the people who created the DMCA cared one iota about protecting artists and game developers and anyone else from pirates and counterfeiters, I wouldn't be this harsh. But all they cared about was protecting mega corporations like Sony, who once infected millions of their customers with a rootkit under the pretense of DRM that left those customers completely vulnerable to hackers. Or, or Volkswagen, right, who used the DMCA to hide their diesel emissions cheat. There was an exemption in the DMCA granted last year for good faith security research to expose that kind of misconduct, but it's still risky because researchers are presumed guilty until proven innocent, and to a lot of people, it just isn't worth the potential punishment. Thanks, Congress. So, if you patch your game, and you're willing to risk prosecution with the defense that you aren't bypassing copy protection, you're just protecting yourself from being deprived of content you paid for with your hard-earned money, well, I applaud your courage, but I hope you have a really good lawyer on retainer and a couple million dollars for court costs because the system is rigged against you. So patches are off the table, but rest assured, if Steam sent some corporate stooges to my house to hand-deliver an update, and while they were there they decided they wanted to snap some unrelated game discs in half, I would deter that action and make them feel quite unwelcome in my home. So let's do the virtual equivalent. The nuclear option would be to unplug that Ethernet cable, disable your wireless card, and never connect to the Internet again. That would work, but it's not practical for those of us who do occasionally use our computers for things other than the games we want to protect from being vandalized by Steam. What you can do is this. Bring up Windows Firewall. I'm using Windows 8.1, but this is basically the same for any version. Go into Advanced Settings, and click on Outbound Rules. Click on New Rule. And in the Rule Wizard, select the Rule Type as Program, and click Next. Now browse to your Steam folder, that's typically Program Files x86 slash Steam. Double-click on Steam.exe, and click Next. On the Action screen, select Block the Connection, and click Next. On the Profile screen, select all three, Domain, Private, and Public. Click Next. And on the Name screen, you can optionally give the rule a name and put a reminder in the description field of why you put this rule here. To be safe, go ahead and use the same procedure to make new rules for every .exe file in the Steam and Steam slash bin folders. And you're all set! Windows Firewall will now block Steam every time it tries to phone home.
Now, this means you won't get updates to Steam or your games, which is the point, but you also won't be able to play online, which is why I said this won't work for people who do that. And you won't be able to activate any new games. If you ever want to do one of those things, you can just highlight those rules in the list and click Disable Rule. If you absolutely have to do that, I strongly recommend that you use your favorite backup software to make a restore point first so you can revert to the old version. Because after you disable the firewall rules, Steam will almost certainly force a bunch of updates on you and possibly break something you care about. Me, I've just resolved that I will never buy another game that requires Steam, period. And this will protect my investment in the games I already have. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you soon.